Now we will discuss permutation entropy. This describes the relative occurrences of six three-point motifs in a given signal. And these motifs are defined by uh, which, the, the relative order of the three uh, data points that we have. As you can see, the six shapes that we have here. Signals with large amounts of high frequency power contain all six motifs in roughly equal amounts. Signals with mostly low frequency power contain mostly motives two, a down slope, and motives five, an upward slope. So to analyze a signal, we break it into blocks of three data points, and we identify each motif by which of these six motifs it corresponds to. We make a histogram which shows the relative occurrence of those six different motifs in our signal. And we use this equation at the bottom of the screen to calculate the permutation entropy. Permutation entropy ranges theoretically from zero to one. A value of zero indicates that only one motif is present. Uh, that's not physically possible in a real EEG. And a, a approximate entropy of one represents all motifs being equal, present in equal amounts. Uh, the realistic lowest permutation entropy you might see in a real EEG is about 0.4, and that would be if your EEG has mostly low frequency content, and uh, your permutation entropy can approach one as you have more high frequency content in your wave. 